Hey, so what is up and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. So right now we are picking up where we left off. Get out of here, come on, get out. We are picking up where we left off on the last video. I had some problems with the LS1 that's in my 1988 Honda Accord. I thought it was the rear main seal. Turned out there's a little freeze plug in the crank that's leaking. Lola, come on. Get out. There's a freeze plug. There's a freeze plug that's leaking into the, there's a freeze plug that's leaking, getting oil onto the flywheel, causing oil to drip between the block and the transmission, making me think it was the rear main seal, but it turns out it was that, just that little freeze plug. So we start off by fixing that. You gotta pull out the pilot bearing to get access to said freeze plug. So we fix that. Then we move into working on this hood that I got. Then we move into some body modifications. Either way, man, it's a good time. I hope you enjoy and I'm glad to be back. And now, you're watching the Legends Never Die R.I.P. Betty White channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. put back in the car everything's running exactly like it should be I didn't film all that because I just wanted to get it knocked out and you've already seen that you saw me put the motor in the car the very first time if you haven't you can go ahead and go back and check out those videos but as of right now we are looking really good and man as you can hear or as you heard in that last clip this thing sounds good looks good running good not leaking the problem is the problem's fixed I'm confident about that so what we got right here when I did the last hood I wasn't happy with how it turned out. At that time, I was just trying to get content out there, just go video after video after video because I really, I depended on the money, so I just wanted to get the video out there. And I see now that that wasn't the right way to do it because whenever you rush something, it doesn't come out as good as it could. So fortunately, I picked up another hood. This is a hood for the same exact car. I was super lucky to find this, and I got it for a damn good price. So I know I'm gonna have to cut that. I'm gonna take a little bit of a different approach with this. Before, I just wanted to extend it make it look like a cow style hood for a Mustang. And I just, I didn't like that. So what I'm thinking with this, my mindset is I'm gonna cut as minimal as possible just to make it fit. Once I cut everything that I need to cut, I'm imagining it's just gonna be some stuff in here on the outside. Underneath, I might have to trim out some of the, some of that skeleton structure to make other things fit, but I'm just talking about the outside. So I'm gonna have some stuff cut right here and then I'm thinking maybe I'll do some kind of a hood scoop or a little turbo bump like they did on some of the old Eclipses. Something, 
Something to make it nice and clean and not so obvious that there's something crazy underneath the hood. So I'm gonna get the hood thrown on there, start making some measurements, and then we'll see where I gotta cut this. different techniques that I'm utilizing. One, which would be the most obvious one, I've heard people use peanut butter, people use toothpaste. What I'm using is high temp grease. So anywhere that I believe that it's touching, it's kind of hard to tell. So one spot that I thought it was touching was on the fuel rail right here. Put some grease on there, then I closed it, opened it. Very rude. So I closed it, opened it, and then I saw that it wasn't there. So I kind of didn't use this. Then I thought, you know what, let me poke around. So there's, you can kind of tell that there's some flex there. So as I'm getting here, there's no flex like there is over there. So I'm seeing that it's hitting, it's hitting the intake manifold right here. So that's why, that's why I had to extend my design a little bit. As I'm making my design, I'm just trying to keep my corners nice and consistent. So I'm just using a piece of tape or a roll of tape as a jig to kind of give me nice, tight, consistent angles just so that way it looks really nice and good. And this is just the first cut. This is all gonna be cleaned up with a flap disc on the angle grinder to clean it up a lot more. I did this, I did the same exact process when we did the Hellcat and the Mazda Miata. So I'm kind of familiar with this. I'm hoping that it can, that it can work. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm just gonna make a couple more cuts. We only have to go down, not much at all. I mean quarter of an inch. is a hundred percent closed which is a really it's a really big deal for me because I did not I did not know if this was gonna work out so what I want to do is I want to give myself options this looks pretty good I'm not mad I'm not mad at the way this looks it looks a lot like or it looks kind of similar to the Hellcat Swap Mazda Miata so what I can do is we can fully paint it and then I'll get some nice black trim and kind of put an edge trim around it and that'll look really good but my first choice choice over that would be to kind of put a bulge right here to kind of still close everything in because I don't necessarily know how I feel about the fact of having the hood wide open like I just said a little bit ago. So what I want to do is I want to continue to give myself the option. I'm going to try to build something, some kind of bulge by shrinking some metal. I'll show you how I approach doing that. So I'm pretty good with how this is right now so I don't want to fully eliminate that option but I want to see if I can still make it better. Yeah, 11 and a half by 26.
So I want the peak. I want the peak of the arch to be 12 inches from one side. And then I'll have some trimming to do, but I want to leave myself a little bit of extra straight over here just because it's easier to work with and I think the metal works a little bit works a little bit better having some left over. Three inches away from my center point on both ends, that's gonna be kind of my working area. So when I'm putting this in the shrinker, I don't want it to ever go beyond here and go beyond there. So this is where it's gonna kind of be. And then keep in mind, as I'm putting it in the shrinker, it's gonna do more, because you might be thinking, why can't I just bend it? Why can't I just put it over my knee and bend it? Now the shrinker itself is gonna bend it, but it'll also give it somewhat of a dome shape, which will look a lot nicer. It'll be a lot nicer of a piece, have a lot more of a custom look or a lot more of a factory look than if I were to just bend it and then fill in the sides it'll look it'll look better so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start working it this is a shrinker that's the stretcher the stretcher is going to do what the opposite of the shrinker is going to do so i'm just going to go ahead and put this in here start with my little throat with the edge of it right at this line bring it all the way to this line and i'm going to just do one or two passes on one side and then I want to mirror that perfectly on the other side. It's important that both sides stay the same so that way it looks nice and consistent. If you had one bent a lot, one opened a lot, it's not going to look as good. So just start off nice and slow. Putting this in there. And you can work it towards yourself, you can work it away from you. Always making sure you keep it nice and straight in the actual shrinker itself. So I'm just going to push down a little bit, work it in, push down a little bit, work it in, so on and so forth. And I'm just going to keep doing this on both sides and then eventually we'll start to see it take shape. This is a slow process. I'm just going to throw it in a time lapse so that way we can get an idea of what it needs to do. <sighs> nice, calm, consistent pressure, both sides, work the metal and it'll come around. far because this this looks pretty good but now I'm gonna have to build the sides and then some of this stuff is actually up a little bit higher so the sides would have to be higher and there would be I'm just seeing that this is gonna be a long road of a lot of work for it to maybe not even look as good as I would like or I have something that's right here that I'm pretty good with as it is I'm gonna want to clean up the opening a little bit I'll put a nice little rubber trim around the edge so that way it looks really nice. This car is not going to see the rain, the weather. It's not going to be a daily driver at all. No AC, nothing like that. So I think what I'm going to do, since I'm at a crossroad, I'm just going to throw this off to the side for now. I'm going to clean up my opening a lot more. See if I can get it to a point where I like it. Like I said, I already like it. I already like it how it is. This way is going to require a whole bunch of work to get it to anywhere where I'd be halfway decent with it and I'm already beyond halfway decent with this. So I think what I'm gonna do, spend a lot of time on this, but I'm just gonna hold off on it for now and then start working on some of the other body pieces, dialing in some of the fiberglass. We wanna get, we wanna get the exterior finished so that way I can move into the paint process.
Now at this point, I definitely feel good because progress has definitely been made. It's really cool. It's really cool to get into it and to start working on this car again and to try to see the finish line in sight. And I think I see it. We just got to get the body dialed in. Once the body's dialed in, then we're going to go for paint. And then this car, this car is going to be done. It's been a long time coming that I've been working on this car, that I've been slacking on working on this car because I've been doing other stuff. But we finally got some good momentum and I want to keep that momentum going. So we got the hood. The hood's looking pretty good. And then the part that I just, that we just glassed in over here, just for the front part of the fender so that way it's gonna merge in nicely with the bumper. That's gonna have a lot of trimming that we need to do. That's just the first layer. The first layer, my main focus is to just kinda of have it start to take shape and get the two pieces stuck together that I was trying to merge together and I think that looks pretty good. Then we get the side skirts we gotta dial in. Everything is looking really good. I'm happy with everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. More videos to come. Like this video, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. How do you feel about the bulge versus the opening? I think what we're gonna do is just go with the opening because I think that looks pretty good. If I want to in the future, I can always get another hood or I can do the same thing to this hood. I can create the bulge, but I like the way that looks. So either way, I will see you on the next one. I'm out.